Aloha, beautiful tribe. It is Pink Bella. Aloha. It is Tuesday, April 23rd. It's 423, 19th star date. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. This is a quantum energy update and a 12 chakra energy update for divine feminines and divine masculines. Plus, I'll be bringing in some star seed messages and soul mission messages. I'll just cover a little bit about the Twin Flames, but if you haven't had a chance, then please check out the Twin Flame reading that came in yesterday. More awesome information came in for the Twin Flame Waves for this year and next year and beyond. Okay, so welcome everyone. So grateful for all of you. So grateful for this channel and this tribe. And thank you to all of you as well who follow me on Facebook and Instagram and share as well. So subscribe, like, share as best you can. Thank you so much because it shares the messages and um, it helps you to know when I um, post a video as well. So thank you, everybody. So who am I? I'm Pink Bella and I welcome everyone who's new to this channel this high vibe tribe uh, my healing and uh, coaching practice is pink bella aloha therapy and i did receive that name while i was on a trip um, in hawaii in 2011 i've been very blessed i have a deep connection with lemuria and the lemurian energy is in the pacific ocean connected to the west coast of north america the hawaiian and tropical islands in the pacific and also all the way down to australia and new zealand and the Greek, um, sorry, the Atlantean, I'm just connected to Greece, the Atlantean energy, which I'm also connected to, is, is um, very much connected to those of you on the east coast of North America, everything in the Atlantic, and then all the way over to Europe, and lots of areas um, in Northern Europe, and then all the way down to Greece and to the Mediterranean, and it's, that's connected to Egypt as well. I could spend all day uh, sharing with all of you. So. Uh, these are the types of uh, insights and information that I bring into personal sessions and readings as well, okay? I'm just going to make a little brief announcement before I get into the chakra messages for this week and the energy right now because um, there's a couple of things that I keep forgetting and I will go through all the healing sessions that are on special at the end of the um, reading today. However, what I wanted to share with you is there are some specials that were on the weekend for Easter that today will be the final day, so check that out. Their soul mission, their twin flame, their star seed, star code discovery sessions, there's classes and uh, pet healings, which I my website is getting organized, but I do offer distance pet healing sessions as well. And um, any of you out there who have had a pet healing session, if you're watching this video, if you could pop on my Facebook page and leave a little message for everyone. But yes, I love animals, I love pets, and I do communicate with them as well. And they are being affected by the energies, okay? They often will try to heal you uh, during the ascension because they know that you're suffering. So they often will try and take on and take care of you as well. Okay, what else do I wanna bring in? Um, I think I'm just gonna go through some of the, the messages that came through. I'm gonna talk about how the Akashic records are connected to our chakra system, how the 12 chakra system is being activated, activated, but for some of us it's also moving into the 22 chakra system. Uh, we have a portal coming up at the beginning of May, the 5-5 portal that's, going, that's connected to the 6-6 portal, the 7-7 portal, and then the 8-8 portal. So the title of this video is actually the May 5-5 portal to the Lionsgate portal, and I'm gonna share a little bit more information about that. Um, what else did I wanna talk about? I think that's it, I think, we'll, I think I'll get into the cards and the messages, and I'm gonna bring in, I pulled some cards about soul mission as well. Soul mission is such a hot topic, and I'm so passionate and excited about that because for my soul mission is to help as many of you empower you to move forward with your soul mission. We are being called um, as twin flames, as light workers, as star seeds to either start or move forward with our soul missions because it is 2019 and the call is we're moving into a high frequency timeline for 2020. So you're not imagining um, that you're feeling that call to start working on your projects and your mission. Okay. Okay, and everyone has a little bit of a different mission, um, and some of you might resonate with being a twin flame, with being a starseed, with being a light worker, or just you know that you're a creative artist, a musician, um, a designer, a teacher, um, a healer, and you want to be moving forward with that, and you're trying to figure out how to do that. So that's where myself and uh, um, that's 
where part of my my gifts are to come in and to help you get focused with that as well. Okay. I work with um during all sessions, I work with your higher self and I bring in higher self messages and um help you get focused on where to begin, that sort of thing. Okay. All right. So the the cards this week. So many chakras came in. I mean, I only have so many chakra messages in two of these oracle card decks and a whole bunch of them came in. So the overall message is we're going through a chakra reboot and most of them are physical. So from the crown, the basic seven from the crown down. So I'll just go through the ones that came forward that were key. Um, Pretty well, all of them, right? But in the sacred geometry cards, the throat and the third eye came forward. So this is, um, I know some of you might be experiencing headaches, um, ears ringing, throat, uh, sinuses, that's this area being expanded. I'm going through another round of it. It's a huge, huge expansion and it is connected. The throat is connected to the third eye, which is also connected to the crown. And see the throat came forward here as well. So it's because um, this uh, center has a lot of lock and key codes on it. As it opens up more, uh, it opens up our upper abilities. And that's the expansion that we're going through. And it's not fun, I know. But I did want to share that with you, that that came through super, super strong. Um, I just pulled a couple of cards in from the twin flame reading and I just have like the main message as well. So definitely, uh, check out that link on my YouTube channel as well. If you want to watch the whole reading, it was very, very awesome this week. So the main mess heart chakra came forward for everyone, but for the divine feminines, we are going through number four this month, um, massive heart chakra expansion and activation and high heart. And I'll be talking more about that. Okay. Masculines root chakra. And when the root chakra is out of balance, that's where the stress and the, um, you know, worries about money, anxiety, which we all have been experiencing. It's all connected. So you might be feeling both, but it, that's uh, for the masculines. That was the main chakra that came in for you. And, and then uh, the overall message as well, accelerated motion. And that is, this is one of the cards that comes forward for the Lionsgate, the 88 portal. It is connected to the Sirius star system. And um, we're already receiving downloads for it. But the 88 uh, portal, the Lionsgate this year, that's the pyramids, is um, very pivotal for all of us. It's going to be quite a turning point for everyone. And that is the Sirius star um, in the sky there as well. Okay, so I wanted to show that it's a number eight as well for the eight eight portal and also for the union, the union, the unification of divine feminine and masculine that's occurring for all of us and for those of us on a twin flame journey for the divine partner, the beloved. Okay. All right, where to start? Okay, I'm gonna go into the chakra messages. Okay, I was just trying to figure out where to go. All right, so um, I'll just do masculine clear audience i'll do masculine first so what's really cool actually i'm going to do it the same as i did yesterday the um overall chakra for divine masculines and for divine feminines is sandalphon which um it's this is a method that was given to me by my higher self and the archangels in 2013 so it's not it's not specifically connected to these oracle card decks or the archangels however some of them are, but it's mainly what was um, channeled in for me to assist all of you to do uh, offer 12 chakra reading and sessions. Okay. So um, Sandalphon came in for both masculine and feminine, and that is connected to the earth star. The earth star is connected to the, the new levels of soul mission, abundance, and the fifth dimensional grid within the planet. So for divine feminine, the message is uh, stillness, but you know, spending time in nature and allowing the ideas to flow in and for divine masculine planetary cycles and it's the, the masculines you are being impacted at this time with the movement of the sun the stars the planets wherever they are because they're all connected to our chakras so you're going through a big shift right now and i do i do know one highlight right now is that the sun has moved into taurus out of aries so we should be getting some relief um, from the head because the Aries was connected to the head expansion, the consciousness, but and Taurus is more of an earth sign, which is connected to the earth star. Okay. So this is a sample. Some of the messages that I'm bringing in would be a sample of a 12 chakra reading and session um, that I would, I would bring in for you personally as well. All right. Okay. So I just wanted to show both of those because they're similar. So divine feminines, your chakra messages for the snapshot in time. Um, soul star, 
So star is one of the first chakras here. And as we're basically, it carries our timelines, our karma, uh, past lives, um, blood ancestral energy, um, timelines with the twin flame, timelines that we've experienced in this lifetime, including inner child work, um, beliefs about being female, being male, um, uh, how we manifest money, that sort of thing. So this uh, divine feminines, we are going through a big clear out of this right now. So that makes sense because as this is clearing out, um, we're expanding this area and clearing this area out. And this back of the head is connected to that as well. It's connected to old belief systems that are leaving. Okay. So that's one of the chakras that came in. Third eye as well came forward again. There's the infinity symbol. So again, a, expansion and releasing of veils to see and feel the truth and to trust your intuition. And then the root and the sacral are getting a reboot. And the root and the sacral are connected to uh, the ego and the old belief systems. So when all of the energy comes in and it sort of goes down into the lower chakras, we go through a release of anger, irritability. Um, it just, it's just getting a clearing out where those are the, where the triggers are coming from. Yes. Some of the triggers are twin flame related, but some are also very personally related to your awakening in your journey. Okay. We, what this whole process is doing is it's stabilizing all of us mentally and emotionally so that we will see the triggers and go around them. Okay. So it, it is um, an experience that many of us are consciously aware of now and working through. Okay. Divine masculines. And I'm glad that one of these cards came forward. So many divine masculines, you received the star seed card for, um, for this week. So many of you know your star seeds and, or you're expanding out to understanding about you've had more timelines than just on this planet earth that we are connected to star systems and star races, that we've had um, um, connections and lifetimes in other star systems. And um, I don't share too much about all the different star um, planetary systems at this time, but I do in star seed classes and I do in personal sessions. And in the future, hopefully I'll have more time. I can start doing some of those videos as well. But just to, I'll, I'll just share what the information came in, um, the download for the lion's gate, because that's the star seed insights. But yes, many more masculines you're receiving star seed activations right now, higher chakra, 11th chakra. And that is opening up your expansion to really knowing you know, I just came here on a mission, but I know that I'm connected to the stars and I'm connected to another family and that of guides and, and a team of light. Okay. So that's super awesome. Um, high heart activation, gratitude, and uh, gratitude is like the gift right now to keep us all in line. But the high heart is a new chakra here. And I've been feeling a lot of that recently, like a lot of opening and heat in that area. Some of you might, it, it might feel tight. It might feel a little bit like anxiety, but it's really, it's a new chakra that's trying to open up. It's connected to Atlantis and Lemuria and our gifts back then and the divine feminine. So for many of you masculines, this is starting to open for you and or you're going through a wave of, you know about the chakra, but it's activating for you, okay? And then the twin flame card, this is uh, also the sacral chakra, but many of you as masculines are being prepared um, still for a twin flame journey or divine union partnership. Um, many of you may have had an experience of, just finding out about it, knowing about your twin, but it not working out, but it, it still means that you're, um, you're being prepared for a twin playing union and a divine partnership. Okay. So again, releasing belief systems around maybe how we thought things were going to go and allowing the awesome new uh, timeline and reality to come forward. Okay. So that's so beautiful. Okay. What next? All right. Okay. I'm just being guided. I also have some crystal messages um, just to sample sort of, you know, when I am offering a personal session, the types of information that I can bring in for you as well for your journey. Like it's like a, it's like a little toolkit for you to move forward. Okay. So some of the sacred geometry cards besides the, um, chakra messages that came forward for us for this week are super beautiful. Number 41 is energy and for us is, uh, this month is April. I'm just read it. Um, 
supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions. We've had this card before, but I always, I don't remember the writing, but I love it. It says combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. So it's expanding our consciousness. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. So it's so beautiful. So that's synergy. We also received empowerment, number 26, for those of you who resonate with the numbers. And this is to allow us to fully um, fully know that we're in our power and our solar plexus, but we're bringing that energy up to our heart. Okay, so, so our power now is our inner heart. And this is allowing us, uniting us, not just on our own journey, but uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. So when we move up into the heart, there's no competition. I am you and you are me and we are um, co-creating new earth together. So that's where we're, what we're working on right now. Number 15, compassion was the overall message, which is so beautiful. Compassion came forward as well with the crystal card that I pulled yesterday, green adventuring. So it came forward twice. So super, hard, like I said, again, a heart activation. It supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter. So unconditional love can flow from source into our being, into our hearts and into the world. So we're learning to be more compassionate for ourselves and with each other. So how beautiful is that? That's what the heart, the high heart and the high heart activation is about. And then number 38, remembrance. And then I'll get into the starseed messages because this is my starseed card. And it came through the masculine anyway, but it is, this is my starseed card. It's about us remembering more of who we are and why we came. Um, that we're more than just a soul in a body that we're providing with, we're, we're being provided with valuable information and to, tools, new tools to flow gracefully, gracefully <laughs> with and in this life. Yes, as you can see, my reading and um, co co-verbal uh, information is having a tough time today. So yes, so we're, we are all remembering more of who we are and that's so cool. So some of us have been a little bit ahead of, of um, some of you now, but now everyone's like all on board with this uh, star seed. And the reason being is because there is going to be full disclosure because more souls have, have already seen light ships like myself. I've already seen light ships. Many of you have, and it's going to be like the, more of the collective. We're, we're going to be able to see it and experience it. And that's why these upper abilities are opening. So we can see more of um, our star family and the angelics and all the beautiful new colors that are coming in. Okay. So that's the remembering. So the download, the mini download um, that I'm bringing in is this uh, information that's coming in right now is connected to the Sirius star system because we are being prepared for the lion's gate. And this is this has been going on for quite a while. It did start with the um, eclipse season in January. It's been gradual and gradual and gradual. And what is it doing? It's activating our high heart. So it's been detoxing because Sirius is one of the closest, um, brightest stars in our sky. So we are receiving light activations from that system. Okay. So that um, it's also been connected to Andromeda and the planet Vega. And for those of you who resonate with those star systems, and I know everyone asks about all the other, everyone is, all the planetary systems, councils of light are working together as teams now, but they just wanted me to give these key words. So the high heart activations have started and they really have been getting, you know, stronger and stronger and I'm feeling it right now, but really we're being now being prepared for the five, five gateway in May, the six, six gateway in June, which will prepare us for the solstice, the seven, seven gateway in July, which will be full on from seven, seven until eight, eight, it will be full on Syrian star system activations for all of us. And that's to open up our heart our high heart for, with compassion and love for ourselves and all of humanity. Okay. Um, what else do I want to share about that? If you want more information about that for your own personal journey, I do offer starseed discovery sessions. And also uh, there is a starseed class, an online class that you're welcome to join that this Saturday online and it'll be recorded. And then uh, I will be offering two new two more classes in May. So there's a bundle for all three classes as well. So just to share a little bit about that, I just wanted to bring in a little bit today. Um, now the chakras, 
the reason I'm saying the word quantum is I'm now offering quantum healing sessions and I have been for a while, but we are going quantum. And what does that mean? It means that we're understanding more that we're multidimensional and the healing sessions are multidimensional. So we're the, the, information that I will start, you know, sharing more about being quantum and being multidimensional. And you even notice that that's the um, name of the video as well. So yes, we are quantum multidimensional beings. And um, I, I work on many different levels when I have sessions with all of you. Okay, so I just wanted to share about that. I think that's it. Okay. Crystals. Oh, hold on. I just found out today that um, so two of the messages that came through for the twin flame reading were Archangel Shamuel, which is very unusual. Okay, because I have two, I don't have that many oracle cards with Shamuel. Shamuel is about the high heart, and it Shamuel is also connected to the planetary star system Sirius. So I wanted to share that with you. That was something that came forward today that uh, we have many angelics that are working uh, with our activating our high heart as well as our higher self. Okay. Um, what else did I want to share about? Okay, I'll just finish. I'll finish with the crystals. I need to have a little hydration. So this is a sample of crystals that may or may not resonate with you to help you stay aligned. Okay, so uh, Green Adventuring came forward yesterday and that's um, compassion. Many of them are heart chakra crystals at this time. Um, if green doesn't resonate with you, I was guided to show you rose quartz. So it's great to carry that stone with you. And if you're having anxiety or not feeling good to hold the stone to your heart and just breathe and just know like they, um, it was Earth Day yesterday. And um, you know, the crystals are from Earth. They're from Gaia. Uh, what was, what did I post? They're jewelry. They're her jewelry that she's created. So like there's a piece of rose quartz, a bit too big for me to carry around, but um, I do wear rose quartz as well. So that's, if, you're, if green isn't resonating with you, there's rose quartz. A couple of other stones that came forward to assist all of us at this time, fluorite, which is fantastic. If you're really feeling spacey um, around the integration, light codes fluoride is very helpful to stay unified and be able to function and uh, work on, you know, work on the computer. Lapis lazuli, which is very much a divine goddess. Mess, uh, yeah, I just got another message. Uh, divine goddess uh, stone for all of us, very much to help with the throat and the third eye. And or lavender light, which is a fantastic green manifesting stone. It says destiny. Destiny was another message that came through the twin flame reading. I was just reminded the activations that are coming in through the star system, Sirius and the sun, the high heart um, healing and opening is divine feminine energy. And that is also connected to the star system, Sirius and uh, Shamuel, Archangel Shamuel is assisting with that. Assisting. <laughs> okay. So those are some uh, messages I received. I pulled some numero numerology cards for us. And first one is patience. Thank you all for being patient with me today. I'm having fun with you though. And uh, that's the number two. And 22, intuition. And yesterday was the uh, 22nd of April, Earth Day. So what do we have here? We have 222. So that would be one of the heart number activations right now. And um, 20, there are 22 chakras. I only work with the 12 chakra system because it starts to get complicated. This system will start to become more important as the months and the years go by. But for some of you, you are activating some of the um, some of the new chakras as well. Okay. Um, other cards that came in: number 74. Spend time in nature. There's the throat and the heart again. Number 91. Surrender. Um, crown and sacral. So all those chakras are covered. Um, so we are to set our intentions to manifest and then surrender to source and the universe as well. We're all, that's something that we're, that's faith and trust in everything that's unfolding. Number 56, relationship change. And that adds up to an 11. That again is the green heart chakra and the blue throat chakra. So if you all might be going through a period of needing your space and pulling back from certain people at this time because we are shift, constantly shifting timelines, okay? And then number 27, spiritual partnership as well. So this is for all the whole collective, whether you're masculine or feminine and the sacral and the crown. So you see the chakras are all um, being covered, spiritual partnership. So I feel like this is another message for twin flames, soulmates, divine union partnerships, high vibrational, high heart, compassionate unions being prepared for, okay? 
and the remaining overall message that came in yesterday for the Twin Flame Divine Union was the Lover's card and Higher Self. So you can check out that reading. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I share a little bit more information about the waves coming in for 7, 7, 8, 8, and 9, 9 for this year. Those are just some of the key portals I was going to share about. And then I'm um, sharing about 2020. Okay. All right. Not too much information about 2020 yet, but just know that if um, if your union is not scheduled for, to come together this year, that it'll be next year. Okay. Okay. So I pulled some soul mission cards. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else with that? Just think. Um, I'll just cover that with the with the session specials. Okay. Um, so I pulled some uh, soul mission messages for us. The overall message is you're on the right path, which is beautiful. So uh, keep doing what you're doing because it's working or just keep moving forward. Okay. So that's for all of us. Music came forward twice. I'm just going to show it twice. So number 32, music. And your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So this music will keep your vibe high and will change your vibration. So just I, what I shared yesterday was, um, you know, if you are a musician and you're creating music, keep going. If you love music, it's very healing and supportive. You know, use that to keep your vibration high, okay? Um, another card that came forward for all of this is crystals. That's why I was got to pull some crystal cards for, for everyone. So, um, if you, if you resonate with crystals, fantastic. If you don't, it's fine, but it's just that for many of you, um, crystals will very much assist your vibration and help you at this time. And then leadership take charge of the situation. So I feel this is just about all of us taking our power back and knowing that, um, destiny is unfolding and that we're to to follow our own inner leader our own inner higher self okay super beautiful did i cover everything i think i did that's a lot to go and i didn't want this video to be too long so hold on okay so i'm just going to cover um some of the specials that are on right now some will be changing i'm not too sure what but just so you're all aware of what's on my website until um, the end of today okay so, um, and if you have any questions, please message me. First, um, so I'll just gonna talk, so I have a uh, distance pet healing that is on there. It's way down at the bottom because my website's getting reorganized, but you can always email me about that as well, okay? Uh, that, that will be ongoing, that special for sure. Uh, for all of my Canadian tribe, if you are interested in a session or a reading, please email me and I can make an arrangement that you pay in Canadian and you can have an e-transfer, okay? So that's not on my website either, but I do often make arrangements with Canadians when they reach out. For those of you who've already purchased sessions, I will just give you a little bit extra of time, okay? What else? So the twin, there's special twin flame sessions right now to help those of you prepare or know if you're part of the waves this year or next year. So there's a twin flame 12 chakra reading there is a twin flame 12 chakra energy healing and that will heal the union within you and also assist your twin flame in essence it will release a kind of like old energy and uh, prepare for a new more positive timeline okay that's usually the session if you wanted a healing with your reading that's usually the one i recommend and it's like it's another 44 dollars on top of the original reading okay the third option is an emerald green akashic record healing so all of the above the 12 chakra energy balance as well but you receive the emerald green um ray healing plus uh guided meditation to the akashic records healing clearing and releasing timelines for you and your twin flame and um, allowing more balance and more heart and compassion. And that also helps with abundance as well. There's a new quantum multi-dimensional healing session, again, a chakra balance, but working up on a quantum level and bringing in a color ray via your higher self. All the sessions I work with your higher self, all of them include um, messages from your higher self and guidance, you know, tools to move forward. I've had a couple of emails around, if I booked a twin flame session, can I ask about soul mission? Absolutely, of course. It'll just, it'll. what happens is if you just booked a soul mission session, that would be a coaching session just for your soul mission. If you book a twin flame session and you wish for some uh, soul mission information, absolutely. But 
60 minutes goes by quite quickly. So most likely it'll be like, you know, mostly twin flame and a little bit of soul mission, just so you, just so you know, but yes, you absolutely can bring in your soul mission uh, questions for your twin flame reading. Okay. And there are coaching packages on special right now, three sessions with healing, without healing, four session quantum sessions are new. Six quantum sessions are new. So that's really awesome. That'll like just catapult you on your on your uh, soul mission and life purpose. There's star seed uh, discovery star code sessions, bringing in more information from your star family and your star seed mission. Many of the star seed missions will start to kick into action after the Lions Gate. There's also star seed online classes. And I'm going to be starting a Patreon community. So uh, that that announcement will probably be in the next week, and I'll be having more lives and specific information for the Patreon tribe as well. High vibe tribe, okay? Um, what else do I want to bring in? There is there will be other announcements about trips and everything coming up this year. I will be launching a store as well, and something. Anyone who comes for a, a reading or a session, I have a private uh, Facebook group and you end up being part of that as well. And not much has happened in the group yet. However, I will be um, having uh, way shower lives in there for the tribe moving forward. It's just something that hasn't I haven't had time for, but it's coming. So you'll all be part of a private um, Facebook group, whoever books a session. Before I forget, there is still one spot available for this Thursday, and then I do have some spots available for next week. So I help people all around the world on Skype, and I look forward to connecting if you are called. Thank you all so, so much. I love and adore all of you. Um, I'm so grateful for sessions and readings. Thank you for those of you who've donated to my channel and I'll make sure that the tip jar is below in the comments as well. If you're guided to do that. Thank you so much. Lots of love and aloha. Everyone have a beautiful rest of your week. And, um, until it's time for me to come back and share more quantum chakra messages for all of us and star seed messages. Love and aloha. Everyone have a great day. Bye.